friends, we are back to our regularly scheduled programming. Sorry to be a bummer yesterday if um, that video bummed you out. We are back to a positive mindset, which is important to me. I got a few negative comments, but I'm going to keep on keeping on here. Um, I am getting back on track, as you can see in the title, and getting things done. So I'm back on the starch solution which um, I will leave some literature down below that you can look at. Um, I'm just not qualified to fully speak on it. I know how the starch solution works for my body. So um, basically we are eating a lot of clean vegan foods, no oil or little to no oil. But right now I have a pot of water boiling. I have some salt and then I peeled some potatoes so I'm going to make a mash out of these. Then we're gonna add a little bit of flour. I'm gonna go with whole wheat flour. And then we are going to add some cornstarch and rosemary. You are supposed to make these little gnocchis. Wilder says hello. You can just say hi, they can hear you. Hi. Can, hi. So we are, do you wanna? Yeah. Okay. We are going to make these little Water. These little gnocchis. Do you like his fancy shirt? And you're actually supposed to fry them, but we're going to bake them because we're not going to use oil. So they already had their eggs. They already had cereal, just everything that you could think of. They've had it this morning. I'm going to get back on track. I think I might top it with some bruschetta and the starch solution also, um, you yeah, can take a path of, um, the 50 50 plate so 50 percent of your plate is starch the other 50 percent is a is a vegetable of sorts so i usually do broccoli or asparagus or something like that I like and carrots. i will dive more into why i'm doing the starch solution later on in the video I, like I am going to be transparent here i would like to lose weight so that's Mommy. part of it and i would like and to tone Mommy. up but i will dive Mommy. more into that and Tell you how, exactly and how I'm kids, doing that, right? Kids, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, there is asparagus. Are you gonna help me? Yeah. All right, we will show you this potato process and welcome to another day in the life. Can you say welcome? Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for being here. All right, bye. All right, so we have cornstarch. We're gonna do like a teaspoon or so. We have garlic pepper. Throw that in there. A lot of it. No salt in this. And then we have fresh rosemary. I'm just gonna do that. Garlic and rosemary during the holidays is like my favorite combo. I think top three favorite combos. I shouldn't say it because there's gonna be others. I know it. I got stirred. Um, so I'm trying not to get the stems in there. We got stirred. Yeah. And then some flour. You're essentially making gnocchi, but you are, um, you're going to make it a little crispy. I got stirred. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stir that together, and we're going to put the potatoes in, and then mash it together. Such a heartbeat pounding in your chest. The final hour before we let it go to rest. And in our story, in the story. If you make no All right, the plan today is. Too. I have you on my new tripod, so let me know if it's not so shaky, because usually it is. Um, the plan today is to clean out the pantry upstairs, um, the one that we use every day, and then clean out the refrigerator 
and just kind of like get ready for our Christmas feast, we shall call it. I'll show you how I eat on the starch solution during the holidays. It's really Hi. easy. It, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will be doing some pasta and things like that. So I'm going to use whole grain pasta. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but I'm going to clean out the fridge. I'll show you how I do it. I and I want everything to be organized. I will say the Pinterest refrigerators and pantries I'm really into. Again, not... Pie. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Not... Um, mm. We're not a perfect kitchen. We're not a perfect home, but I really like the organization of all of that. So I got some clear like vessels so I can see what food is actually in the containers because that's my biggest thing then I for just forget about it and that's what is creating some food waste so I'm gonna clean out the refrigerator I'll show you how I do it it's looking a little gross right now so <sighs> wish me luck veggie we're doing some brussels sprouts and some liquid aminos i'm gonna do some pepper and onion powder and call it good there's no oil in the pan just watch it if you need it not to stick just put a little bit of water but i'm trying to get them a little crispier Alrighty, here are the broccolis so you just constantly flip here oh you're right there <laughs> they're brussels sprouts so constantly flipping on a medium heat the potatoes are done and I'm gonna plate. And I'm gonna write down some bullet points that I'd like to say before I get attacked hey, I for diet yes. culture. <laughs> okay, so here is the finished plate, little potatoes, Brussels sprouts, I have ketchup and Dijon mustard. Both don't have oil in it, but if I wanted to jazz it up, I would use the Trader Joe's Fiesta mm -hmm. cashew dip, but um, it does have cashews in it and that's considered a fat. So in the weight loss portion of it, you are limiting those fats. And I'd like an avocado today, so I'm not going to put I it in here. Day too. An avocado for you too? Yeah. Okay, great. So I'm not gonna put it in here and I'll kind of dive into that and explain it. Please drop down any um, questions that you may have for me. But right now this is breakfast and then I'm gonna have an apple and maybe some spinach with balsamic. I don't mean to brag or anything, but these are delicious. Holy cow. They're simple. They're really flavorful. And you um, can eat them. I'm gonna try and not say this so much, but guilt-free, you can eat a bunch of these. Starch, starches are your friends. So are carbs. All right, okay, we see. Love it, yum, yum, yum. Try these. I will leave the, all the recipes in the description box. So I'll type them out for you. Delicious. What is it? Delicious. It's delicious. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Which one's your favorite? Yeah, my favorite is delicious. Delicious Brussels sprout. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We're gonna have to pop in some more because I only made enough for Mama. Ew. What happened? There's your hand. Wilder. We're hanging out in the garage. I had the best idea ever. Let me turn you around. The best idea ever to put the Adirondack chair here. So I'm just sitting in the sun. Sit. Okay. It's like, I don't know, probably 60, 65. 
Although I'd really love snow, I can take this too. So we can get some vitamin D and be outside and hang out together. Mommy. I'm kind of wanting to do a workout in here today. I will say that I'm gonna start my workouts up again. I'm pretty excited. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna hike when I can. But I usually do Maddie Limburger uh, workouts. And we'll see how it goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Woo! Slow down. Slow down. Oh, goodness. Look at you go. Woohoo! All right, it is lunchtime. I'm going to make some soup here. So I have, hold on. In the pot first, I'm going to do potato, carrot, and onion, and a little bit of broth. And then I'm going to rinse these beans off. I have green beans and great northern beans. This is a take on ham and bean soup if you don't um, follow me. I make this all the time. But uh, the key is smoked sea salt to get like that ham salty flavor, if that makes sense. Or you could add ham to this. However you're eating this, it's still delicious. And then the secret ingredient is organic red wine vinegar. Just a splash of that. So I'm just going to get that simmering and have this for lunch. And then we're gonna do burrito bowls for dinner. It's gonna be delicious. And we also need to clean this, cause wow. It has been simmering here for like, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna just add the beans and, oh gosh, I'm fogging you up, sorry. And then I'm going to add the beans and let it simmer for another 10 to 15, and then we shall call it good. Have Harry Potter on. I am going to attempt to break down all of those because, because our recycling comes tomorrow and we can't like wait. Wow. Um, we can't wait a whole week to do it. I mean, we can break down boxes and everything, but I try, I'm trying to be pretty organized when it comes to all of this. So I'm going to break those down. I'm going to get one of these going last time someone asked it's just like a soy wax melt my mom got it at like a local store back in northeastern pennsylvania um but it's called christmas tree at the farm so i'm gonna get that lit i'm gonna do the dishwasher and then i'm gonna start on some dinner i might even have a glass of wine because we're on vacation and i'm just feeling a comforting glass of wine right now um what else what else is happening? I'm gonna do some of the laundry, organize what we need to put back into the car because I like having an emergency bag in the car for the kids and myself. Pre-kids, no, never had one, but now you just have to be prepared for everything. So I'm gonna get that together and then put the Christmas lights on. What else do I need to do? I still need to do a grocery order, but by this time, I, I think I'm gonna do Instacart and it will be delivered tomorrow. I feel bad doing that, but we can't really go out right now because we're just busy. There's nothing wrong with us, but we're going to get this place cleaned up and take you along for the ride. So you put the soy melt on top of here and then you just light a little tea light candle underneath here. I don't always use matches. And then, yeah, this one is called Christmas, what did I say it was? Christmas spirit, so that'll be a nice little cozy thing while everyone's here. All right, so I have the kids' um, dinner kind of cooling off here. It's just spiral mac and cheese with broccoli and carrots, and there might be some bell pepper in there, I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm gonna make myself a burrito bowl. I have sweet potato, some corn, I have the chayote squash. I don't know how to say that, so correct me in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. And then I have some refried black beans that are left over. I have rotel that's left over. And then I have some Kite Hill cream cheese. I'm gonna mix that together and kind of make like a bean dip. And then put the roasted veggies on top and then, excuse me, and then do some rice as well and call it good. That is going to be my dinner tonight. I'm super excited. So I'm just gonna roast this with some salt, pepper, 
and that's it no oil or anything like that all right here we go i forgot i had the garlic pepper so there is some garlic in here and then the corn is frozen so um that will kind of like create a steaming effect to put on top of the burrito bowls here and um since i'm not putting oil on these veggies i might use the Oh, what's it called? Trader Joe's, the cashew fiesta dip, because I didn't use any fats today, really. I don't think I used any. So, yeah, I think you can do this however you want. Um, but if you want to do the losing weight technique, then you should limit your fats and you should have no oil at all. So, it's up to you. Drop down in the comments if you have any questions about this. My two favorite accounts to follow about the starch solution are Plantiful Kiki and High Carb Hannah's A Classic. So I can link them down below so you can know a little bit more about this diet. So I'm stepping in the kids room because it's super loud with the dishwasher, but I was kind of bummed. The burrito bowls, I was going to use these just to use them up. The Spanish style 90 second race and this has... Um, chicken broth powder in it I didn't even think to look so this will be my husband's and then I'm using the quinoa um southwest quinoa blend with brown rice and that's good it doesn't have any oil or anything like that so I'm happy about that and I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna kind of sit down with you wrap some presents and talk to you a little bit about everything because I'm reading the comments from today's video I already cried a bunch of times I just I mean Thank you, like all of you just really, um, you make this worth doing. And I mean, I love vlogs and looking back on my family, but there are times where I question myself and question what I'm doing and, you know, people do get to me and I don't like that. But 90% of the time people are supportive and just have the kindest things to say. So thank you. Thank you so much because I was feeling terrible yesterday and I um I I got caught in a funk and I couldn't get out of it so thank you for to all of you for um bringing me out of the funk and um allowing me to share my life with you because I absolutely love it I I really really enjoy this kind of work I enjoy sharing my recipes with you I enjoy being my own boss in a way I I, I just I've been having a struggle with that. I, um, I'll be transparent. I don't have a supportive um, leadership team at my school. It's actually a little outrageous sometimes. Um, they've gotten better this year, but it's it's not good. But um, And that's part of the reason why I'm leaving the profession. Oh, I swear I'd never say that, but here I am um, <laughs> saying it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get dinner done and then I'm going to sit down with you and kind of talk to you about um, the starch solution and why I'm doing it. I realized earlier today that I said I'm doing it to lose weight. I, I meant to evenly distribute weight. Um, I will be okay if I don't lose pounds, but I, I want to um, get toned and I want to lose weight in a specific part of my body. So I will talk to you about that and then... Um, yeah, just um, answer some questions that I got in the last vlog and talk to you about the holidays and just about everything. So I'm um, going to eat dinner. I'll show you the end result and then we will go from there. My husband decided to join us for dinner, so I made him some ground beef and he'll have regular cheese and sour cream and all that on a burrito bowl. But don't have any lettuce. Need to get some at the store. So I'm going to put an Instacart order in as well and then I will see you after dinner.
Hey there, so we just had dinner and I wanted to sit down here and talk to you by my tree and my messy television. Now that I'm looking, I kind of want to be over here. I don't know, is that off center? Yeah, okay, so I'll be right here. Um, I wanted to talk about the Stark solution and why I'm doing it. Um, so like I first went vegan six years ago. This isn't gonna be a long story. I just kind of want to touch on what I'm doing. And I noticed immediately that I lost weight um, and it made me feel pretty confident. I've never really worn um, tight clothes. I've always been pretty modest and um, baggy, we shall say. I have been an artist for a long time. Um, I was an artist in art school. So the idea of wearing like nice clothes or tight fitting clothes was never something that I um, did and I wouldn't say I have been on trend ever. Um, I just kind of have worn leggings and a flannel and or sweater for my entire life and Vans or Converse or something like that. But um, yeah, so I went vegan and I lost probably like 20, 25 pounds and I felt comfortable wearing um, trendy or on trend like tight clothes. Um, and but I mean that was like seven months of my life and then I got pregnant so that was kind of um, useless but it did make me feel good and I don't necessarily want to lose weight for that reason I just want to fit into my old clothes again um, I mentioned I want to target an area and it's my legs I birthed two humans um, I will say I had a natural birth with Delilah and I'm still recovering from that. Um, I, anyone who's contemplating a natural birth, I can't sit here and tell you that it didn't hurt because it hurt. Um, it was the deepest pain of my life and it was um, a, uh, you know, a, I guess something that I've never experienced ever before, obviously. Um, so it took me to a different type of pain threshold and I don't know if that has anything to do with the recovery. Um, she was breastfed for a year and, until we got to the hospital with her um, and the guillain Barre took her ability to um, suck so she couldn't breastfeed anymore and I was so stressed out I lost my supply and um, I didn't pump. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't center myself or focus on anything but um, after the hospital, you know, I um, started to gain weight i've only gained like five or ten pounds but i um i've gained it in my legs and i'm just they actually like on my thighs like they hurt i and i don't i don't know i don't know if that's a health thing or if it's just like my skin like not used to the weight so that is like my targeted area if that makes sense um with both pregnancy i pregnancies i didn't gain any weight i had hyperemesis the entire time with Delilah's pregnancy, I lost 35 pounds, so my body's been just on and off and on and off. Um, so I don't necessarily want to do this to lose an extreme amount of weight, but I think cutting that, you know, 5 to 15 pounds off my leg area will make me feel just better. So um, with this diet, you need to exercise, obviously, and um, playing with my kids is just not enough exercise. So I want to do something to get my heart rate up, maybe 20 to 30 minutes a day, and then maybe just some, um, no weighted exercises, just maybe some Pilates or yoga, just something to be in tune with myself and um, the exercises that I'm doing. So that is where I'm at with all of that. And then I did want to touch on one other thing because a lot of you have like abrupt, abruptly come to me. So I just wanted to tell our story because um, I did get two comments and they were um, purely questions which I get um, and one was from a parent and it was why why did you come back to school if you're so miserable and I would not say I'm miserable I, I'm not miserable but um, I am not my happiest self and um, it is uh, a lot because of my kids I mean if you would have told me that um, <laughs> that I'd miss them this much, I would have called you crazy. I, I don't know. I, I just, 
you know, when you, before you're a mother, you judge all these mothers and you say you're not going to do these things and then you eventually give into it. And um, I do apologize to anyone that I have ever said that to or ever thought about um, when, when talking about mothering and like being a parent. But I, um, to answer that parent, I kind of like stuttered and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if it's coming across that I'm miserable, but I'm trying, oh goodness, I... I try to be level-headed and calm at school. I'm a completely different person, I feel like. I'm not this open, but um, this outlet for me has just been so helpful. You, I, I wish you could understand, but it's been so helpful for me. Um, so like I said earlier, thank you for being there um, of support. But, you know, we, we got this diagnosis in July for Delilah, and we were in the hospital. We, we couldn't leave. It wasn't something that you could just bring home and fix. Um, she needed to, to go through IVIG, which is a mini a mini therapy. I'm butchering that. Um, and she was originally diagnosed with uh, botulism, but it wasn't botulism. So there was an anatoxin brought in from California and it was this big thing. It arrived with, um, you know, with armed guards and it was very serious. It turns out she didn't have botulism. So they had to do an internal MRI. She was on a ventilator. Um, I'm not going to dive into this story now. I, I might actually, because I think it could help people um, a little down the road, but I, I did want to just like kind of point out that the timeline of all of this, it happened in July. I needed to go back to school in August. And um, I, I mean, a lot of her recovery was based on me getting back. When I reached out to HR, when I reached out to my leadership team, they made it very apparent that um, I could not take a leave of absence and um, I couldn't uh, use a, a, a lot of the things that um, we have insurance for. And I was really confused by that and I didn't want to push it. Uh, if anything, I took it as a sign, like maybe I shouldn't go back. but. Um, you can't just abruptly take a salary away from a two-person home, um, especially, uh, you know, two people that work for the community. We don't have these obscene jobs that make this incredible amount of money, um, and that's that's how we chose it. Uh, that's we've we've chosen our career paths to be like this. So, um, to answer the parent, I was like, it, I I said it just like that, you know, like I can't just abruptly not have a salary and. Um, I think it took them by surprise, but I, I, you know, I was just trying to be real. <laughs> you know how I'm all about that. And I, um, I think that was what, um, I had a couple people in here ask me that too. Like, why did you go back if you're so miserable and why don't you stay home with your kids? And then I have a lot of comments, like, if you truly want to stay home with your kids, you can make it work. Um, I've been trying, I've been trying since Wilder was born, to be honest, and I have a a plethora of things, uh, everything. I've tried everything. And um, the more and more we talk about it, our, our plan is to homeschool our children unless we find a program that we agree with. Um, and um, to be completely honest, I don't know if I'll get flagged for this. The idea of putting a mask on Delilah is um, is like looming on me. I, I can't, it's, it was hard enough to do with Wilder and, um, it's too young, it, it's too young, flat out. It's too young to mask the kids um, at two. It's just, it just is. Um, so, you know, that's been looming on me. And then the move, um, we do wanna move. And I grew up so close to my family. Like I, I'm watching my time here cause I don't want this vlog to get too long. So I'm just gonna dive into this last topic, but I grew up extremely close with my family. I came from a very, okay, my battery actually died, so that's a sign. Um, I'm gonna make it quick. I grew up in this area um, with all of my family, and what I was saying was is I'm fortunate enough that they're all back there in the same spot, and um, I know these times have been extremely difficult for everybody, but I, um, the only way for us to get back is by plane because we drove across the country with both of them and I'll be honest, it tested our marriage. It really did well um, and tested my mental health. Uh, not something that I would recommend, um, not for my kids at least. So 
The only other option is a flight and um, you read these articles everywhere about families getting kicked off because their young children won't wear a mask. Um, Wilder doesn't voluntarily put on a mask. He never has. A lot of people are like, well, if you practice, it'll be fine. No, um, it's not something that we want to do and it's not something that we agree with. Um, so we're, we're stuck. We're stuck here. And um, um, we're stuck. We're stuck away from our families. And uh, we have each other, but we don't have family out here and we want to go home. And we want my family to meet my daughter in a healthy way, which was uh, why we went home in July. I'm sorry. But like I said, this pandemic has been so hard on everybody, but oh, oh, it has created so many unique problems for so many different people um, in the world. And I, and I feel for that, but we are struggling. I always struggle the most during the holidays. Um, so my point to all of this was uh, we, you know, we're struggling with wanting to go home. I think a lot of the issues that we have out here would be solved by that um, but there's a lot of logistics to work out um, now this is not to say that Colorado is not our forever home but we are exploring other options to really make this work um, like I said we want to expand our family and it's just we, we can't see that being a possibility in the circumstances um, we are now. I am grateful for our health and having a roof over our heads, but um, there are just so many factors, so many factors to um, a lot of life changes that we want to uh, implement in our day to day. So thank you for sitting here and listening to me talk it out. But as we know, it really, really helps. Um, and I just thank you for all the kind words today. You really got me through. Um, like I said, the holidays are a really hard time for me and I am, um, uh, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all of the support because it's just, wow, wow. <laughs> um, it's just been a lifesaver, truly a, a lifesaver. So I am going to say happy holidays. I um, might vlog on Christmas and uh Christmas Eve uh, because I want to have those memories, but they won't be as lengthy as these last few vlogs. So I really hope you enjoyed today's um, positive get it all done and um, kind of seeing how I'm going to get back on track. Uh, if you have any questions about the starch solution, please drop it down in the comments below. I hope you have an opportunity to get to know me a little bit better in these vlogs because I am opening up. I am an open book here. So as always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. It truly means the world. Bye everyone.